<laughs> hey, what's going on, y'all? It's me coming back at you again with another vid. Hey, D Dominic Brazil is not letting up right here, man. <laughs> he is stalking and harassing Deontay Wilder. And I got to say, man, I, I, I got to give it up to Brazil, man. He, he, he actually wants this fight, and he's hungry. All right, and you could take a look at this quote right here on his Instagram, which is Trouble Brazil. Uh, it says here, look, fuck Wilder Wednesday. At he said fuck Wilder Wednesday at, at you know he tagged the brand, bronze bomber at bronze bomber. Let's get the fight schedule, man. Quit bullshitting already, man. Let's get the fight schedule, man. Quit bullshitting already. I'm your mandatory, and you know damn well you're not fighting Anthony Joshua. Man up, punk, you ugly son of a bitch. Yeah, damn. <laughs> End quote. Oh man, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I'm actually looking forward to this fight once it gets made. Now, again, it goes back to the fact that there's something about this mandatory talk that Dominic Brazil knows that we don't know because if you look at the rankings, unless it has it, it has changed um, from the last time I seen it, Brazil's ranked number two by the WBC, and Dillian White's ranked number one. So, so uh, you know, technically. Dillian White would be the mandatory, but the WBA, I'm sorry, the, not the WBA, the WBC has not yet mandated the fight between um, White and uh, Wilder, obviously, because White's tied up with Lucas Brown, and, you know, what, what, however they're going to rule on this, whoever's the winner of that fight should be the mandatory challenger, ideally, ideally, but, it's ideally, ideally, but then again, uh, again, maybe there's something that, uh, that Dominic Brazil knows that we don't know regarding this mandatory talk. So, um, either way it goes, I'm looking forward to this fight once it gets made. And I know some people are, um, or may be objected to this idea, this narrative of this fight being made because Anthony Joshua is going to be, uh, uh, Slated, he's penciled in from what I've been hearing to uh, make his American debut in August of this year against uh, Drill Big Baby Miller at Madison Square Garden after he gets past Joseph Parker. Now, you know, that's a big if though, because that's not a foregone conclusion. That's just a, uh, that's just a, uh, the penciled in plan. Now, I will say this though is that some guys are a little upset about that, and you know, they have the right to be upset because. You know, how could you, you know, bring your champion over here, the unified champion? Why? How could you bring him over here from the other region to the United States and not fight the American champion? I get that argument, but here's the way I see it. Due to the public pressure, I think Eddie and, and some internal pressure as well. Eddie Hearn is going to have and Eddie Joshua will eventually have to make the fight. They will. But the question is, when it will, when will it happen? We don't know. OK. Could it happen at the end of this year? Hopefully, yeah. I hope it does. But if it doesn't, then you know, it'll have to happen next year, okay? But I, if you ask me, if you ask me, I prefer it to happen at the end of the year. But as long as there's something where both um, um, sides can come together and and agree to an interim um, fight in between, I'm okay with that. I had to hate repeat myself, but I'm okay with that. You know, hey. Uh, refer to uh, deferring to the War Andre Ward Sergey Kovalev deal, how that got made. So I know Eddie Eddie's objected to that idea. He says that's not how you do business, but hey, that's his prerogative. But I disagree on that. <laughs> uh, but needless to say, though, uh, here's the way I look at it. If Dominic Brazil and Deontay Wilder uh, fight should come off, I'm okay with it because actually this would be a good fight. I definitely pick it Wilder to win it. It'll be another. It'll be a, another good name on Wilder's resume that he could put on there. And uh, Anthony Joshua got Big Baby Miller was a decent resume. I mean, as another good name he could put on his uh, resume too. If he gets past Parker, obviously they get uh, drill Big Baby Miller. Now, <laughs> here's the thing about this I find funny about Big Baby Miller. I know he's talking all his shit. That's great, but. If you guys notice that Big Baby Miller's biggest win is against a uh, against Gerald Washington and another signature win, a possibly signature win against uh, Johan Duopa. Now, mind you, those are Deontay Wilder's leftovers. So, <laughs> to those out there who criticize Wilder for beating those guys, but yet you're giving uh, Big Baby Miller full credit for his win over Gerald Washington and perhaps a, a credit over his win over Johan Duopa. You can't have this double standard and give him full credit for those well, his wins over those two guys opposed to Wilder, who actually beat those guys first uh, before Big Baby Miller. <laughs> I just wanted to point that out because I find that very laughable because that's what's going on here on this YTBC platform. Anyway, let me know what your thoughts about this. I'm out.